The absentee ballot process. With the 2016 election year quickly approaching, we would like to provide the absentee voters with some helpful information to ensure that their absentee vote counts. Absentee ballots may be requested 180 days prior to any election. However, paper absentee voting begins 45 days prior to all federal elections and 21 days prior to the state and local elections. With 2016 being a presidential preference primary, a separate application is required by law. If you apply for an absentee ballot for the March 1st presidential preference primary, you will have to file a separate absentee ballot application for the primary election held on May 24th. The May 24th primary election application will carry all elderly voters that are 65 years of age and older, all disabled voters, and all military and overseas citizens through all elections for the remainder of the election year. If you do not fall within these special criteria, then you must complete an application for all elections with the exceptions of any runoffs. In order to receive an absentee ballot application, you must contact the election office. Applications are also available on our website at www.palding.gov as well as on the Georgia Secretary of State website at www.sos.ga.gov. Some helpful hints when completing the application. You must select a ballot style. You will have a choice of a Democrat or Republican ballot, sometimes nonpartisan or independent, but most of the time Democrat or Republican. Georgia is a non-declaring state. You do not register with any political party. You choose the ballot style that you wish to vote with the candidates that you support. By not choosing a ballot style, the voter may be limited on whom or what they may cast their vote for. Remember, a primary election is electing the candidates that you would like to see on the November general ballot. If you have requested a ballot from the election office, it will be pre-filled with the voter information. Please verify that all of the pre-filled information is correct. If there is a discrepancy with the pre-filled information, please contact the election office immediately. You will need to provide the application date, the daytime phone number in case there is an issue during the absentee process. Email addresses are helpful as well, but not required. Select the reason why you are voting an absentee ballot. Though a reason is not required, this helps our staff to determine if you need an absentee ballot sent automatically for future elections. Sign the application. All applications must be verified. All signatures are verified. If there is no signature, the application will be rejected and slow the process. Once you receive your ballot, read the enclosed instructions. Review the ballot to make sure that your candidates are on the ballot. Vote the ballot by coloring in the bubble with a blue or black pen beside the candidate of your choice. Do not use a check mark or an X. Once you have voted the ballot, fold it properly and place it in the white official ballot envelope. Seal, then place the official ballot envelope into the yellow oath envelope. Please complete the oath on the back of the envelope. You must sign the back of the yellow oath envelope. If you do not sign the back of the yellow oath envelope, your ballot will be rejected and your vote will not count. Your signature is required for verification. Once your ballot is returned, the election staff verifies your signature once again. Once your ballot is verified and logged into the election system as voted, your ballot is placed into a locked ballot box and is kept secure in the absentee ballot records room until the tabulation process. In Paulding County, paper absentee ballots are tabulated first. 
Once the ballots are tabulated, they are placed back into the ballot boxes, locked, and kept in a secure location in case there should be a recount. If you would like an absentee ballot, please contact the election office at 770-443-7503. The Paulding County Elections Office staff works diligently to ensure that your vote counts.